Day two of 10 of isolation in my apartment in Hollywood with COVID. I got a pretty good setup. If you saw my other video about how I'm terrible at like feng shui, moving stuff around in a good configuration in your apartment, you will notice this. If not, this is a pretty good setup. This is a, I do not recommend this TV. It is ghetto AF, as they say. It's a Sony, so right there, boom, don't buy these. Samsung and LG. LG, if you can afford the top of the top, if you can afford medium or medium to high price, but not the absolute top, go for Samsung. You will never go wrong. Never go for Sony. If you're over here, you're not going to see anything on the screen. If you're way over there, you're not going to see anything on the screen. I literally have to be going to have to be sitting right here in the very middle of the screen in order to see the whole image. They're really, really bad. But I don't have a lot of money right now, so I have to take what I can get. Very first world problems kind of stuff. At least I have a TV, right? So... But yes, <coughs> symptom-wise, coughing still, the coughing changed from a cough, just like a dry cough, to being a little wet. It's kind of gross, but I'm just being honest. It like, I started bringing up some phlegm. The feeling that I was experiencing before I got the diagnosis that I'd been experiencing for the past, uh, you know, six to eight months has come back which is this overall kind of feeling of like a bowling ball on my chest. Like no matter what I do, I cannot take a full breath of, <laughs> breath of air. Um, but I've been experiencing that for eight months and I was tested for COVID the whole time I've been feeling that. And they tell me it was nothing. <coughs> <coughs> so like right there, <coughs> that was like a very wet cough, really gross. This is probably why there's not a lot of other people putting out stuff like this because it's pretty gross and scary to people, but I don't know. I, that's why I'm making this. I just, there's not enough honest things of people going through COVID. But honestly, all these symptoms so far, and I have a fever still, but all these symptoms so far are just when I've had flus and colds in the past. Same thing. There hasn't been one symptom where I was like crazy. I, the only thing is this weight on my chest that I've been, like I said, I was experiencing before COVID. Um, before I was diagnosed officially, but besides that, just regular flu, regular cold. I know what you have to look out for is apparently there, there's in some people who get really bad quickly, they start to get like totally better and their fever goes away. And that happens for like a day. And that's the sign that after that, they start to really go downhill much worse than they were before. So I know I have to look out for that. But yeah, uh, the other thing is um, I might have said this yesterday, but I called my oncologist, who's my cancer doctor, where I got my chemo five years ago, and she assured me, she was like, the cancer was not in your lungs. It's not lung cancer. It was in the area called the mediastinum, the area between your lungs in your chest. So that's not going to affect COVID at all. If you had had lung cancer and got chemo and chemo beat lung cancer, then it would be an issue. But because there was no cancer ever in my lungs, just in the area between my lungs, she said it's not gonna be an issue. She said that a lot of the lymphoma patients, she's, she's had a few who have COVID and they all have a very minor, have had a very minor um, episodes of it and they completely got better. She said she hasn't had a gray zone lymphoma patient who has it, but that's also because there's only been like 300 to 500 people in the whole world who have ever had gray zone. So the chances of one of those people also having COVID is ridiculous, but Gray zone is very much like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's very much like the lymphoma that they treat there all the time. So if these people got better, I feel very confident that I'm going to get better. Um, anything else? No, just a little bit of the wet cough now. Um, still have a fever. I have to check the exact amount. And, um, and setting up this kind of man cave for myself, which unfortunately I lost the power cable and the remote to the TV. Very sad. I just bought it on Amazon. It should be coming on December 1st. So that's a lot where I will have access to this. And for now, I'm just going to have to rely on computer, laptop, movie watching. But uh, yeah, yeah, definitely have to replace this with uh, some sports thing. Like a, like Clayton Kershaw, something for the Dodgers. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be either the Dodgers or the Lakers. Probably the Dodgers. And... Uh, Maybe some illicit, uh, semi, uh, I don't have to say anything more besides that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, 
Sorry about being creepy there for a second, but I'm a guy. I'm just just being honest, just being me. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Day three of ten coming up really soon.